Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are you all doing tonight? We are doing great. Let's get this thing up here. There we go. And yes, as people say, we're Twitch. Only 24 hours left on the Odyssey Alpha. We're probably not going to go too much into the Alpha today. Um, I'm, I'm, I've done my testing now. I think I got, uh, I got out of the Alpha what, uh, what I wanted to see, and I've done the testing I need to see there. Now we just have to wait and see what comes up when, uh, when it actually goes live. Because at this point, the only thing it would just be collect materials and upgrade suits. But it feels a little bit of a waste making drop get a suit that's going to be removed tomorrow anyway. So what I'll be doing is that is we're going to be on the live server, and I'll be uh, stocking up on materials. If you were here last week, you might remember that I was out at the. Um, um, at the crystal shards, stocking up on raw materials. Uh, I finished that completely, so now all my raw materials are fully stocked. Like, to the brim, everything. Um, so that's done. So I'm going to be looking into the manufactured materials today, see how far we can get with those. And more specifically, I want to look into not just farming high grades, because I have been testing high grades in the Odyssey Alpha test, and you can still do the the the, the like close the game, lock back in thing, reset it, cycle them over and over again trick. Uh, still worked in the Alpha, so I'm assuming it's still gonna work after um, after Odyssey goes live. So farming high grades is not at least not for me not a super high priority. Um, I'm not expecting any of the other methods to necessarily be removed or nerfed. Um, I, don't, I haven't seen any indication of that. Um, but I just don't want to end, end up in a situation where I have to go and do a ship upgrade or build a ship uh, after Odyssey and then have to go and collect materials. I might as well just do that now. Yeah, I can imagine that's been, uh, that's been busy out at, the, at Jameson's. I mean, we still have a couple of weeks, so it's, it's not like it has to be, um, that it has to be now, now in, I assume a lot of people are doing the same thing as me, stocking up on materials, getting ready. Um, which is which is understandable, I think. I am just going to fight a system. There we go. Put my carrier in. Is there a list of materials somewhere to stock up on? Yes. All of them. <laughs> no. Um, I mean, the more the merrier. The more you can stock up on the better. How many souks do a one engineer? Well, that's the trick. So we can't undo our engineering effects as far as I know. So once they're in, they're in. And if you engineer it the wrong way, you've got to start over. That's the way I understand it. Um... So I'm probably going to be engineering a lot of suits because I'm assuming that some of the first versions you might do might look at something and you say, oh, this looks really good on paper. Once we get it out and we try it, it might be, oh, it's maybe not as good as you hoped. And maybe there's another combination that looks um, um, like something that maybe looked, didn't look as good as on paper that then actually worked better when we actually put it out. So there's going to be, I think, a lot of re-engineering, stuff like that. When is Odyssey coming out? Odyssey is coming out on the 19th. Why do I seem to prefer Dav's Hope to high grade emissions? Because Dav's Hope is... Dav's Hope is one of those places where you can just... Um, you can shut off your brain and you can sit and watch something on YouTube or talk to people in, on, on voice chat. You don't have to think. Um... You just drive, drive circles and circles and circles and circles. And then I prefer to do that for at least for the grade um, up to four. And then get most of those filled out. And stuff like the final is a little bit stuff missing here and there. I might get those from high grades. Um, but I find high grades super tedious to farm. Even with the locking out and or lock, closing game, opening game thing. I still find high grades super tedious to do. Um, even though they're probably faster, I mean, if you're just looking at, at pure materials, like, per hour, then yeah, they're probably faster. 
Det er ikke rigtig sjovt, men something like, like, like what John said right like, like running loops of dabs hope, watching a livestream, like find some livestream on Twitch or on YouTube or f- something you like to watch on Netflix or something. I put that on and just said like run loops of dabs hope for days. Um, yeah. But we're not going dabs hope today. Maybe we're going to go dabs hope later. I don't know, but not now at least. We're going to maybe go and do that later. Hit Robigo hard. We're actually heading out to Robigo tonight. Hello, Nova. Welcome to the stream. Um, so today we're going to be running some passion missions for two reasons. One, the material collection. And two, I want to see how much has changed. Because it's been quite a while since I've been doing any loops at, uh, um, at Dab's Hope. Not Dab's Hope, at, uh, at Robigo. So I want to head out there. I want to run some missions just to see how uh, how things are out there. Build the job Aconda and save me jumping my carrier. Yeah, that's a good uh, good option. We have it's the red. TTV says, so seeing you on YouTube. Thanks for all the great videos. You're very welcome. What should I be using for past emissions? I'm going to be actually, you know what? Let's just jump in and have a look at it um, at my current loadout here. Um, so let's just quickly. Uh, oh, so we should set a light goal. Uh, what are we at today? Material farming 350. I think we should go 350 today. So business as usual, of course. Um, if we get the live stream up to uh, to 350 likes on uh, on YouTube, then I will set up a discount code for you guys because um, on sorry I'll set up a discount code on the merch store get you guys some merchandise on the cheap. Likes helped a lot. YouTube algorithm love it. So if you want to help me, go down and like the live stream, and then you also help out your fellow commanders who may be interested in getting themselves some merchandise. Mark of the day, by the way, is gonna be whoops the brand new pre-flight checklist mark with all your little pre-flight checks you have to do before uh, before leaving the station. Ah, nice try, Steven. It doesn't work like that. We have we have limited that set goal command to uh, to moderators only. But yeah, <laughs> nice try anyway. <laughs> but let's just quickly jump in game. And uh, let's take a quick look at the build I will be flying today. At least in this current version. It might turn out that I have to do changes to it later. <clears throat> so I'm going to be flying a python. Um, did the pre-flight include <clears throat> a new crew assignment? Yes, it does. It actually does. Look at this. Last point on the list. Crew members. <clears throat> wow, my uh, my voice is already dying. Get some, get some water. Carrier jump successful. Security checks are underway. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> so we're flying a python, as you can see. Um, medium jump rate down to thirty-two. I'm not sure if that's enough. What the distance? We'll see that when we get up there, because I did change it so we have now more passengers on board. Um, oh, that, that's not where we're gonna go. So I'm actually not sure if my jump range is now enough. Um, if I recall correctly, then this is only partly engineered for range. There's a little bit extra to be desired in terms of um, in terms of mass. We might be able to squeeze a little bit extra jump range out of it if uh, if it's needed. Um, but as of this right now, it should be fine. And I think I actually may have an optional, I have a class one optional, so I could squeeze a little bit extra jump range out of it with that, I think. So there's a few options in here for, for squeezing some more range out of it. What's the distance from... What is Robigo... Uh, Robigo Sathis? Is the limit 30? I can't remember. 
about 60. Yeah, okay, then we should be good. Then we should still be good. Anyway, so one of the things I noticed last time I was just poking my head out in this uh, in this direction is that a lot of the missions in the past, I should say, they were only um, they were only offering missions up to uh, up to eight passengers at max. But I've seen missions now that pay quite a bit more, but they also require up to 16 passengers. So before I would have the highest quality cabins with that could hold eight passengers. Um, so I swapped that out, so I'm now running 16 instead. So that means for the class 6 slots, I'm running business. So I have 16 slots there. For the class 5, I drop down to economy. And then I'm just actually running economy and everything else. And I have an empty class 1 slot. We could do something there if we needed to, but it's not really uh, not really necessary. So that's the, that's the loadout right now. Um, business in the uh, in the class 6, and then economy in, uh, in the remaining slots. Um, for optional internals, I haven't really done a lot. Whoops. For sort of corn tunnels, I haven't done a whole lot. 2A on the power plant, 5D thrusters, lightweighted with the life support, lightweighted with the sensors and D-rated, of course, 5D power distributor, and an engineered uh, frame to drive with the classic increased rain mass manager. This is not a double engineered one, this is just a just a normal standard one. Um and that should push, as you can see here, even with all the cabins full, this should push me up to like the 32 light years. And we have the exact jump range, exact range that was 59.03 light years. So that means I can still do it in two jumps, which is fine. Um, of course, nothing in the hard points, nothing in the utilities. And as you can also see, I am flying shieldless because more passengers equals more money. Um, the carrier is currently scheduled to jump. So we have three minutes till landing pad lockdown and then we're going to be out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, people have high 32, 37. Now, 32 should still be enough to get us there. Super cruise assist. I mean, we have that extra slot, and we think how we're we actually doing for power. Yeah, we have a pretty, pretty decent power headroom, um, as you can see, and we have that extra. There's no class one or size one passenger compartment, so you have that extra slot there that you can put in whatever you like. You can put in Super Cruise Assist if that's what you like. You can put in a docking computer if that's more to your fancy. You can put in whatever, right? You you have that class one slot you can play around with and put stuff in like uh, yeah, comfort modules um, because we don't have anything else to do it. As long as we don't drop our jump range down too far and we don't exceed our power limit, then uh, then we should be good. Yeah, we do material farming through passenger missions because if we go over to um let me show you this real quick. I'm gonna head over to uh Oh wow, come on. Through the commander toolbox. If we jump into the material finder and we look at manufactured materials, we look at grade five manufactured materials. Um I actually don't have a video on it, but you can see here the biotech conductors are only given out as mission rewards. And you can also see here exquisite focus crystals are given out from passenger missions. So we have these two materials, exquisite focus crystals and biotech conductors, which you cannot get from high grades. Everything else you can get from high grades, as you can see, and of course video guides for that. But exquisite focus crystals and biotech conductors you cannot. So this is why... I'm going to do focusing on those two today. So we're going to be looking for exquisite focus and we're going to be looking for sorry, exquisite focus and biotech conductors. Um, that's nice. And we just actually go check our states on those two materials, how much room we have. I should probably check that beforehand if I need to do some cross trading first. But let's just go and then say that we're going to look at manufactured Grade five. So you can see there's a lot of room here for stuff that needs to be collected. Sensor fragments, not to worry about those. Propulsion elements, not to worry. But 
But we should have the biotech conductors. I already have 60 of those, and I have 58 of the exquisite focus. So I actually have a decent amount of those. So there is a good chance that we can get these uh, these maxed out. Yeah, you're right, uh, Crimburn. You're also on the data side. We get the modified embedded firmware. Just check. Isn't that a great... Right. Now we're in lockdown, so now we can't. Because we just got the honk. So we have two minutes where we have to sit and do nothing in our carrier. Can I? Oh, okay. Just kick me out. I, what? Why does it send me in here? So this screen, every time I... So if I set my filters, look at that. Every time I set my filters, it opens up the carrier interface. <laughs> what? I can't deselect them. See, now I have deselected one and two. And I can deselect the three and then open up the carry interface again. <laughs> God damn it, Frontier. Why? Why are you doing this to me? Okay, there we go. Modified embedded. I am at 42. So we also have plenty of room to upgrade for more modified embedded. Um, all the vessel blueprints, I'm not too worried about those. Um, peculiar shield frequency analysis, it's not that I to use those either. But I really need to go and get myself some data mind wake exceptions because I'm completely out of those. So that's going to be fun. Yeah, that is a strange bug. I, I agree. Yeah, I think I think someone made an oopsie somewhere as well. I think that looked a little weird. Okay, we're ready for the double, double honk. There we go. There's a double honk. And then we come down to the other side for the triple honk. Almost. And we should be on the other side. I didn't... I couldn't jump all the way to the system because it was just out of range. So we're going to be one jump out of Ruby Gold. So we have to do the jump over there ourselves. Well, that's fine. And we're here. Let's go. There's Ruby Gold. Oh, right, I forgot. The ship can't boost. That is a little annoying. Uh, 
There's a little time that could be saved if I made this ship actually boostable. I might want to do that. Upgrade the... Uh, Upgrade the power distributor. Is the latest FSD rank video up to date? Yeah, it should be. I mean, it is dependent on the BTS state of the system, so sometimes it can be less effective than others. But if you hit it in a state where there's a lot of these uh, data missions, then yeah, it should be good. Okay, we are in Robigo. Oh god, I need to set up my filters here. Um, I want... Planet of the Moons, Point of Interests, and Stations. And we're gonna go to Robigo Mines. A lot of people like to run from, um, from House's Reach, which is also fine. Problem with House's Reach is it's so deep. First of all, it's it's further away, so you can see we have a little bit more. It's only a thousand light seconds, not too bad. But main problem with it is it is so deep inside the gravity well of the planet that it takes quite a while to get there. Um, even though the range is not that much more, because you have to go down through that gravity well, it takes a bit of time to. Um, to get down to the station. Out is not that big of, big of a problem because we're jumping. So we're going we're going high way up, so that's not that big of a deal. But going in can take quite some time. Um so I'm not sure, but I think it's a little bit more efficient to go Rubigo Mines with a Python than going to uh, to Houses Reach with an Anaconda. Yeah, that's a good point as well. Also, if you're running if you're running wounded passengers, which we may do, then it's more fun doing it at a small station where we are less likely to get scanned than at houses reach where we have to be a little bit more sneaky and silent run in, so it's a little bit more difficult running. And the fact that we are still a gas giant, but we are way further out in the gravity well just makes it so much faster to get to uh, to Rubico Mines. And again, as you can see, we can still make a a healthy amount of money. So the way I'm going to prioritize my missions are I'm going to be looking for stuff that gives me data mine wake exception, not data mine, um, um, modified embedded firmware, exquisite focus crystals, or biotech conductors. Those are the three things I'll be focusing on first. Once I've filled up on those, I'm going to be taking the missions that pays the most and just fill up on those so I can get as much money out of this as possible. Um, not that I need the money, but I might as well make a pretty penny while we're out here. Yeah, so I think I've noticed is, like, get the docking request in as soon as you can. Because NPCs have a tendency to spawn after you. Um, and if they request docking, well, there's only one medium long, uh, docking pad, so that will be gone. So you see now NPCs are beginning to spawn. Somebody spawned out there. Right? And he's going to be requesting docking. And if he's in a medium ship, he's going to take my landing pad. If I hadn't taken it already. So take the landing pad as soon as you come. Uh, where is the numbers? Numbers are there, okay. There we go. Nope, not mission board. Passenger lounge. Here we go. Okay. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna go to materials. So there we have five biotech conductors. Oh, but it's not going to the right location. We're looking for anything that goes out to serious atmospheric. Here we go. Conductive polymers. Uh, how are we on conductive polymers again? That's a great four material, isn't it? Uh, we're actually okay. I might take some conductive polymers. We have modified embedded firmware there at least, so we're gonna pick that one up. I can go in an economy. 
Oh, and one of the best. So we're going to put it in the economy. We got some biotech conductors there. So. Take those. More biotech conductors. Uh, I might go for the conductor polymers. I just want to see what else we have. We have some exquisite focus, but it's not too serious atmospheric. So we're going to jump on to the next one here. No material. Exquisite focus. There we go. That's nice. Five exquisite focus. Yes, please. What do you have down here? Modified embedded firmware. I would rather have the biotech conductors. Here we go. Five biotech conductors. What else do you have? Four biotech conductors. Okay, so focus crystals. I might take the conductive polymers just because they are also difficult to find. So I'm going to take those, especially when I take down the small cabins there. What else do we have here? No materials. No materials. Okay, so now we're just going to go for credits. We have 1 million, 1.3 million. So we're going to take that, that one there to start with. Put that in there. And we do not have any missions that fit in the in the last cabin. So that means we are full. And we're good to go. We're going to launch. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to plop in a bookmark there. You can see we are running illegal passengers now, so this is why running at these smaller stations is nice because there's no police around, so nobody will know. I'm guessing you already have all the others. Yeah, I really want to avoid cross-trading um, if it is all possible. I'm, I much prefer to do it like this over cross-trading. Oh, great. I should say, by the way, I'm on call this uh, tonight, as you can probably hear. Um, so I'm going to mute here. I'm going to keep flying. There we go. We're back. Gotta go to A5. I'm scanning planet in the f uh, in FSS. If you wait for the FSS scan to obtain all geological data, do you get a bigger value for the planet? Uh, no, I don't believe so. People ask what I do for a living. I, uh, I'm a software developer. I write code. And I'm on call tonight. And, well, when we have stuff that breaks down, then 
during the night, then they call me and then I I need to make a decision on whether it's it's critical, something I have to fix right now, or if it's something that can uh, that can wait. And in this case, it's something that could wait. So I'm going to fix that after the live stream. But also mean I probably won't be streaming too late tonight because now at least I have something I need to go and fix afterwards. Big company? Yeah. So the the idea is there is there are people that are like actually are like at work at work monitoring um all our systems and depending on what part breaks, then they have each system that has an instruction what do we need to do. So so the people monitoring don't necessarily know what the programs are doing, they just get an instruction that says call this person. And then we in my department have a yeah, right. We, we we take turns to be uh, to be on call, and we then yeah make decisions. Uh, uh, oh, there's pirate activity here. Serious atmospheric. Here we are. Here we are. And we make decisions of whether it's something we need to fix now or something that can wait. And in this case, it can probably wait. It's probably gonna be fine. And so we are in the blue, so full throttle. Mission objective complete. There we go. Set that back there. Hmm. Stop charging it for some reason. actually be a pretty decent amount normally it's it's not always you can get missions that purely gives you materials you often have to stock up on some that's going to give you uh, give you data as well but let's see we are at 60 biotech conductors so we should be able to hopefully fill this up that would be nice if we can get this filled up tonight that would be great success and if we can also get the exquisite focus then even better not so sure about the exquisite focus but they are a little bit more rare, but we'll see how much I can get. Really new to engineering. Do you know how to get specialized legacy firmware? Okay, uh, Daniel, I'm just gonna quickly show you while we get. I don't want to get my notes pointed towards Roku Mo la, 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 can't even talk. Towards Roku Go Mines. If you go to the commander's toolbox, here we go. That's the front page. And you go to the material finder. You can see it right there. You can find it up here. And you were looking for what was it? Specialized. So you're going for um legacy firmware. So here we go. You can search that up. Specialized legacy firmware is data encoded. You can either collect it from the uh, from the data point at that soap or you can cross trade it with data from uh, Jameson's crash site and there are video guides for it here so if you're looking for specific materials just go in here search it up and uh, you can find the guides for where you can pick it up and uh, there are also video guides in like most of the cases
So much never use Commander's toolbox before. You should. There's lots of amazing tools over there. Jameson's crash site? Well, well, if you're not familiar about Jameson's crash site, I think it is that video. Yeah. Then there's a video guide showing you how you do Jameson's crash site for materials. It's very, very effective for materials. What is better than Jameson's or Dav's Hope? I would say that depends. If you are solely looking for... Um, if you're only looking for that, if you're only looking for legacy firmware, I think it is faster to go to Jameson's crash site. However, if you're looking for other stuff as well, then I would actually go to Dav's Hope and then just run loops and just scan the beacon while you're there anyway. We're in range, not yet. Um, just because then you're stocking up on everything else. It might not be as fast um, as, uh, as Jameson's, but just the, the fact that you're going to be stocking up on everything else in the meantime is, is nice, I think. You can also go to Hot Jupiter if that's more uh, that more to your liking. Okay, let's go and hand in some missions. Let's see what we get here. Modified embedded firmware and two million credits. Biotech conductors. Come on, servers. Do it, servers. Nope, that hope doesn't drop grade five. <laughs> that was just that money mission. Nice five biotechs. Four biotechs there. And some conductive polymers. So, that actually gave us 15 biotech conductors. And that one, that's pretty good. And for the exquisite, we went up to 63. So that's pretty good, I think. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good first... Uh, first hole. So now we can do it again. Commodities. Nope, not commodities. Uh, materials. Here we go. Modified embedded firmware. Thermic alloys. I don't necessarily want those. Biotech conductors. Five. Yes, please. There we go, exquisite focus crystals. Modified embedded firmware. Okay, we're done on the materials, so let's go for just for pure credits. What do we have here? We have three, and two and a half, and 2.7 there. Just gonna quickly check. So if one for three here, so we're going to take those three million ones. And what is left here? 1.6 and 1 million. So we're going to go for just whatever we can get at the moment. And one for the last little cabin there. 
700,000 credits. There we go. We're full. And we can go back and do it again. You can see we didn't get as much this time around, but um, and that's okay. What is the significance of farming before Odyssey? So, the trick is that when Odyssey comes out, if um, if we need to make special builds for something related to Odyssey, some of the on-foot content, um, I don't know if they're going to do anything uh, that requires us to, uh, to consider rebuilding some ships or something like that. In that case, I don't want to have to go and spend time collecting materials in Odyssey. So that's why I'm just stocking up now. And also because at some point, even if I don't need it right after launch, at some point down the line, I'm going to make a new ship build for something. Um, that's almost guaranteed. And at that point, it's just going to be so much easier if I stocked up on materials already. Because I am running low on materials, and it's taking me longer and longer to do my builds, because I'm always missing stuff. So by just generally stacking up on everything, I'm more prepared for when uh, for when I need to uh, need to make, make the next ship build. I don't think we're going to need any of the on-ship materials for the suit upgrades, but I don't know. But this is going to get wiped, so what's the point? What are you talking about? This is the live server. We are not on the alpha test. So this is not going to get wiped. I'm on the live build, so of course this is going to carry over. Not a good point. It may be that there's going to be something that's going to be, be nerfed. We don't know. And if they're gonna nerf the, um, which was the one I had uh, the highest doubt about, if they uh, some other things in terms of material gathering, I just want to have as much stuff as I have as I can. Oh, here we go again. And I'm back again. Oh, it's thrown it down. No, no. Again, these these on calls are. It's one of those where you, unless it's really critical, you don't have to fix it right away. You fix it whenever you uh, whenever it fits. So. These things are not, it's not super critical, it's not on a critical path, so it's fine. We'll fix it after the stream. Does credit from Elite move over to... Okay, so... Okay, let me just... There seems to be a lot of confusion. There's been a lot of people who have been asking about... Um, the... A lot of people seem to think there's going to be a wipe with the uh with the release of odyssey there is not gonna be a wipe when we get back to the to um to rubico mines i'll i'll make you a drawing very crappy drawing but a drawing nonetheless to show you how it's going to work because there seems to be so much confusion on how this is going to work there is not going to be a wipe all the ships all the materials you have on the live server, not the alpha test, on the live server. All ships, credits, materials, unlock progression, everything carries over to Odyssey. Everything carries over to Odyssey. 
But what happens in alpha stays in alpha. That means if I if you're gonna farm materials in um if you're gonna farm materials in the alpha test, that will be wiped. Because what happens in alpha stays in alpha, as Dunkle said. It's like Las Vegas. But I'm just gonna get back with these missions here so uh, so we can have those in, and then I'll, I'll make you a quick drawing so you can see how it works. Why would they bring your commander into phase 4 if they're going to be wiped? Because, from Frontier's point of view, phase 4 was a test of migrating the existing commanders over to Odyssey. That's all this was about. It was also giving us a chance to play with all, the, all our new ships and see all the big ship models. I mean, nobody's going to farm two, 300 million in an alpha test just to buy a, buy a Corvette or something to see it. So bringing that over allow us to see all the different ships. And it was a compatibility testing. They were ensuring that they could take the existing commanders and they could move them into Odyssey without problems. That's what they were testing in phase four. And they do this for every, do this all the beta tests they've done in the past. Every single beta test in the past has been the same. They copy the commanders over to the beta test. They run in parallel. And after the beta test is over, they cap it. But also, the whole point is, if I want to go out in the alpha test, and I want to test what what happens if I, um, um, for instance, they didn't carry with the fleet carrier, so I went out and bought a new fleet carrier. What about those five billion credits I just spent in, uh, um, in the alpha then? I'm not going to get those back because I bought a second fleet carrier. Or am I going to have two fleet carriers all of a sudden? The whole point with an alpha test is that, that it doesn't matter if you spend 5 billion credits on a fleet carrier if you try to decommission it and recommission it again. Or it doesn't matter if you spend 200 million just blowing up your ships left and right because you hit a bug or something. Because it's an alpha test. It doesn't matter. It's the whole point of an alpha test is that you can be more reckless and you can test things. You can, can, it doesn't matter if you lose your ship. It doesn't matter if you... Um, uh, what do I know? Uh, because there could be a bug somewhere that would suddenly meant that you could either make a certain amount of money because they haven't balanced it, or you could lose a certain amount of money because you suddenly lost all your ships. Or what do I know? So that's why they don't carry stuff over from an alpha or beta test over to a live build. It's very, very common practice, and it makes a ton of sense. Phase 4 was a test of compatibility. Can they take Horizon, and can they merge it over? To us. The answer was yes. Yes, they could. Let's get this thing into Rubico Mines, and then, uh... And then I'll, I'll, I'll quickly make you a drawing. I hope that's gonna make sense. Have been a little bit too fast there. Bottled up too early. Let's see if we can salvage this. Get that landing pad reserved. Oh, good.
Yes, I am familiar with hot dropping, but again, we do not have a super cruise assist module on, so you can't hot drop without a super cruise assist. There we go. Let's just get these things handed in. Modified embedded firmware. Yes, please. There's nothing there, so we're just going to take the cash. Nothing there. More cash. Biotech conductors. Okay, there we go. Just have a quick look here. We're up to 80 now. We only got 5 on this run. Not that good, but still. And 66 here. Okay, okay, give me a sec. Let me just get... Let me just get... Paint. There we go. Mm-hmm. Where's my mouse even? There it is. Okay. Look at this. Now I'm gonna to explain to you how the alpha test is working. So we have the live build. Let's make the live build like orange. So we have a live build, and this is the live build running here. Okay. There we go. Live build. So this is live can we make that bigger please like that even bigger right very big that that's bigger and bold there we go so this is the live build okay and this is your live commander and anything you do here is just if you make a change it goes over now, at some point, Frontier started phase one, right? So Frontier, they did... Uh, oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted that thing there. So Frontier, they did phase one. And phase... No, I want the line tool. That one. Yeah, so Frontier did, did phase one. And actually, they did all the way out here to phase one. So we have... Um... So, no, 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 this should be that color there. That's fine. And then we're going to make a new one. So, Frontier did phase one. We're starting here. And it was the end of phase one. Here started phase two. And here they started phase three. So, phase one, phase two. And here we have the end of phase three. At the end of phase three, that commander you were playing on in the, on odyssey was deleted and then they started phase four phase four is then running here and that there was a copy taken earlier so not not it's not going over like that it's not at the same time it was earlier that was copied over like so and now you're playing on a copy. So at this point when you started, you were at wherever you were a few days before when they took that copy. And you're now playing on that commander. There is no connection. There is airtight gaps here. Nothing goes between those two. So anything you do here stays here. Anything you do here stays here. This is just a branch, a copy of your commander. Now, the alpha test is going to end here. This is tomorrow. The live server is going to continue, as this all were, as it were, all the time. Um. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna take your commander, and they're going to delete it tomorrow. But they're only going to delete your Odyssey commander. So this one down here. Probably put a text box down here is Odyssey. There we go. 
and they're going to delete that commander there. You still have your main commander here. Nothing has happened to that. That's still the same. It looks like a git flow because it's kind of is. It is kind of a git flow. Um, and when Odyssey then comes out, what they're going to do is... I'm going to move my camera here because it's, it's in the way now. Whoop. So now Odyssey comes out here in two weeks. And the Odyssey release day is here. And what's going to happen on that day is... Nope. That is Odyssey release. And on that day, your commander is just... If you buy Odyssey, obviously, is going to continue... And is going to continue his life in odyssey no reset they're not going to delete your commander it carries over and just continues its lives in uh, in odyssey like so so actually if we should make this drawing more clear what happened was that here oops here they terminated your commander so that commander was terminated there and if we should make the colors more consistent. Oops. Need an eraser. I need a, a. Can I have a bigger eraser? <laughs> there we go. And then get back on the line tool. So this was your commander. Take it down. And they did that test that we talked about. Where they took the orange one with this horizon. They took it down. And they converted it to a um, to an Odyssey commander. And you could play it in Odyssey. So blue is Odyssey. And the orange is, is horizon. So they took an horizon commander here. Moved it down to the Odyssey. Converted it over. Um... And that commander there is going to get terminated. But this commander here, so they did that conversion test here. It's the same conversion test they have to do, or the same conversion they have to do here. So in order to make sure that they can make this step here work, they did the same test here. Make sense? I hope this makes sense. So as you can see, anything you do in Odyssey Alpha... Maybe I should make this even clearer. This is Odyssey Alpha. There we go. Odyssey Alpha only. Right? This is not this is not Odyssey. This is just the It's just the Alpha test. <laughs> there we go. Odyssey Alpha. It's it's really straightforward. So there's gonna be no wipe. I think it should be pretty clear. Yeah, yeah, it is super simple. Uh, there's just a lot of people who seem to think that what that what's gonna happen is that there was gonna be a a wipe here. There's been a lot of people who seem to think that's gonna happen where they wipe your commander here, and that's not the case. This wipe is a wrong wipe. There's no wipe here. This is fine. You're going to keep your command. You're going to keep everything. Um, so I hope this cleared it up for some people. There is no wipe. You're safe. You can go and do all the stuff you want on your Horizon Commander. It's not necessarily going to have to... Uh, it's not going to get wiped. The only thing that's going to get wiped is your Odyssey Commander. So what you're doing in Odyssey. And because we are... Like right now, we are... Let's make another color. Like a green... We are here, right? This is, this is, let's make it green here. This is now. So you can see, we have so little time left in, in Odyssey Alpha that before it gets wiped here, that there's no point in continuing doing any data, co or you can do data collection, but you can't really do any, um, you can't really do any like material collection because that's going to get wiped. But here we have some time before Odyssey comes out. So we cannot, can't do our collection here. Okay, that's clear for everybody. I hope so. Let's 
get back in game. Very clear, thank you. I'm just, I even had people write to me, they're so concerned that they're going to lose all their progress and they're going to have to unlock all the GGs and start from, from a Sidewinder again, or maybe not even a Sidewinder, less than a Sidewinder, just on foot. That, that's obviously not the case. I, uh, Frontier would lose 90% of their player base if they did a wipe um, of all commanders. So, so <laughs> Because people have so much time in, invested in their, in their commanders that, that, would, that would not sit well. I would be furious if I had to start over again. So now hopefully it makes sense why we're collecting materials now. Okay. Let's see what else we can find. Give the mission boards a chance to refresh, which they clearly haven't. We're still on the same mission board. That is odd. Or are we? Because we have an hour exquisite focus. Hmm. It's a part refresh mission board. Oh well. Exquisite focus crystals, I'll take them. Modified, oh we got lots of modified embedded firmware. That's nice. And more exquisite focus and more modified. Okay, we did give a, get a refresh. We were just very unlucky with our biotechs it seems. Look at all those exquisite focus crystals we're getting here. Refined focus, exquisite focus. We've got biotechs there, but... Uh, do we have anything else? Well, serious atmospheric? I don't want the thermic alloy, I don't care for those. So now we're just gonna go for credits. What do we have here? Three million. Three million is usually pretty good. Oh, 3.6. That's very good. Give me that. Okay. And nothing there at all. <laughs> there we go. Locate goods. Okay, what what do you guys want now? Domestic appliances. Okay, no, I'm not gonna go and get you a, a fridge or a dishwasher or whatever you're looking for. Who who is like, hey, I'm gonna go on this cruise trip. I'm gonna go on this sightseeing trip. Can you please get me a dishwasher? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, we're not gonna go. I'm not gonna go and look for dishwashers for them. They can, they can wash their own dishes. Get him a fridge. I don't think. I don't know if they're selling fridges out here in this area of space. I don't want to fly back to the bubble just to get them a fridge. Four, three, two, 
I one time brought a mic weight because my room didn't have. <laughs> The sale special, the, the the very very special, well known Sothis dishwasher. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta get a message. Can you can you please give me one Raxler, please? Now they're looking for everything. Look at that. We have questions. What, okay, what do they want? What do you guys want? All nav beacon data. Okay. Ah, okay. Just nav beacon data. Yes. Can I have one Raxler and one Coke, please? <laughs> one map for Raxler, please. If I fill up my cargo bay, they usually stay quiet. I don't have a cargo bay. My 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 cargo capacity is none. So there is no room for, for fridges or anything for that matter. We are filled to the brim with passengers. Very important when you get these missions where they ask for specific things. Uh, these locate goods do not delete the messages because if you delete the messages you're basically saying uh you're basically telling them no and then they get mad at you and then sometimes if they get too mad at you they will actually leave they will just eject themselves into space you go like nope then i if i can't have my space fridge i don't want to go on this cruise trip and they're just gonna go eat um so what you should do instead just just ignore them and basically say oh that's fine. We're, we're going to be looking for your space fridge. And then you just happen never to come by a space fridge. And then when we're back at the station, like, yeah, sorry, we didn't find any space fridges. Now you, you... But I hope you enjoyed the trip. And remember, we're the top 1% of all cruise liners out there. They <laughs> probably just want to catch some fresh air. We could do a, we could do a quick... Uh, a quick scoop down through the atmosphere of... Uh, <laughs> of the little earth bike here. <laughs> the more they complain, the less oxygen I give them. Wait for this for the message. Mission objective complete. And then we can plot her out. Get on our way. Yeah, we'll send Howard send Howard to the back and uh and tell <laughs> use Howard for crowd control when we have all the all the angry passengers demanding space fridges. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're right, Joe. It seems every every single cruise ship out there is the top one percent. There must be a lot of really bad cruise ships out there that you just never see. What's Howard worth now in credits? I I don't know. I still think he's still at like three, four hundred million or something that he's uh, that he's got from me so far. Something like that.
Yes, we can. How it's ready to... So, I actually had the idea of what I wanted to do when, uh, when Odyssey um, came out. Was to create an on-foot-only commander. And I wanted to name him Howard O'Connor. So, it would basically be playing as Howard. Who then sometimes would be on my ship as a co-pilot. But then we could also play as Howard himself. He And since he's on foot, he doesn't have a ship himself. Since he's on foot only. Um... So that's why he would be a he would be a crew member. He would go and make money from being a crew member on bigger ships. But then in his spare time, when he's not out and uh, f flying fighters for me, he would then run around on foot and uh, and complete missions. I kind of like that role playing idea. I think it could be fun to play Howard O'Connor on uh, as an on foot only commander. Is that a Lego rocket? Yes, it is. Very much is. Look at that. That's my Saturn V. And there's also ISS there. Got the International Space Station as well. Very nice. Hold on. Ah, about to crash here. <laughs> White came in and said I should. I told that. Yeah, it's it. Both of them are actually a gift from uh, from uh, from my wife. Both the uh, the Saturn V and the uh, and the ISS. I think the Saturn V was... Were they both Christmas gifts, I think? I recall them being Christmas gifts. Oh, oh, damn it, I was too late. I was too late on my docking. No! Other NPC. Am I going to get the shuttle? I... I hope so! <laughs> Now, get all pad hawk. Do I think they will ever prioritize players over NPCs for docking? No, and I kind of like that they don't. Because I guess it makes the game feel... I mean, if you were just able to just request docking and then NPCs would just get out of their way immediately. I might have to relock to get a docking on a landing pad. Come on. There we go, now he's leaving. Need a model of the North Star sitting on the... Uh, absolutely. If either we could have like a... A fortune... If, like, if we could have a fortune class fleet carrier. Request granted. There we go. Um, either as a Lego model or like 3D printed or something. That would be amazing. We'd love to have that back there as well. Can this passion loop be done anywhere that's area specific? It's a little area specific, I would say. Oh. 
of my mission board. We're gonna go and hand in, and then we're gonna do the midstream thingy. Exquisite focus crystals. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to pick up some more missions or then we're going to go and we're going to do another run because I want to see if we can get fully stacked up at least on the biotech conductors and hopefully also on exquisite focus. That would be nice if we can get that tonight. But remember that there's a current light goal in the live stream that's sitting at 350 likes. So that means if we can get the YouTube light count up to 350, I will set up a discount code for you guys to get yourself some merchandise for free. You can find the merch store, by the way, on d2astore.com and get yourself like my pre-flight checklist mark there's remember your limpets marked plenty of different marks t-shirt hoodies um beanies caps also lots of cool stuff check it out d2astore.com and of course the likes helps me out a lot because youtube's algorithm love it and um you can also help out your fellow commanders in chat who may be interested in getting themselves some merchandise also uh, you can also find links in the chat now for um Streamlabs, where you can do one-time donations at tip.d2a.com or for Patreon at patreon.d2a.com. And of course, Patreons can get their name listed at the end of my videos. And they also get a permanent 10% discount to merch store. And finally, I hope I will see you guys over on Discord at some point. And you can find the channel's community Discord server at discord.d2a.com. Okay. More missions. Once again, we're going to go materials and we're going to see what kind of materials they offer. Modified embedded. Modified embedded. Are uh, there really no biotech conductors out in that direction? They got exquisite focus crystals. Five of those. I'm probably going to pick that one up. More exquisite focus crystals. Not a lot of biotech conductors right now. Modified embedded. Might as well. These are biotech conductors, but they're just not going to, to where we want. Are there any more? Materials, modified embedded firmware is there as well, so let's take that. Okay, that should be it. Let's go for um, for credits for the remainder here. Three point, oh, we have a four, four million one here. That's pretty good. Definitely got to take that. Uh, we have 1.2. 1.2 is actually okay then. Just gotta pick up everything. This is actually really weird. We have extra room, but just not enough missions. They're not spawning fast enough. Oh well, that's all we got this time then. No biotech conductors this time around. That's a little annoying. They're getting... Getting rare. Steaky, thanks a lot for the super chat. Uh, do you have a link for the Python build you're using? Love the content, by the way. Um, I can generate one. Let's just get some jumping here. Then I will. Uh, then I will definitely get a uh, get a build thing for you guys. Give me a second. I'm just gonna go and jump over there while we set up the thingy. The reason why I jump to main cameras because sometimes when you start up like it did today, 
when you start up the uh, ED market connector, it has a tendency to forward you over to to Frontier's homepage, asking you to uh, to log in. And I don't want it to necessarily display my email. But I also don't want to crash into a star. But we should have a passenger built here. See if the cross thingy copying works. No. Cross thingy copying did not work. Uh, so I have to do it in another way. How do I do it then? Can I watch my... Oh, can I find... I know what I can do. I can go to... Uh, I can find the Twitch chat here. And then I can post it from here, like so. Now it's on Twitch. And then I can then go over on the other PC. That cross cross PC clip holder needs to get fixed somehow. Uh, there. There. And there and also on YouTube. Perfect. Back in game. That's the build. It's not like super over engineered. It just has enough engineering to uh, to work. Did you ever play the original Elite version from... I did install it at some point and tried to play it for a bit, but not too much, to be honest. Oh god, what do they want now? More space fridges. Let's get this thing pointed in the right direction. Let's see what they're asking for this time around. That's all, maybe it's all just, okay, it's all nav beacon data, so that's fine. But no, the build here is not, it's really just bare medium. The only thing I would change on it is I would probably try to get it to boost because it's a little annoying that you can't boost when you're going uh, going in and out of stations. But that's another thing actually I wanted to test. And that is while we're flying out here, I should be able to set the route back already now. And then with the route set, then I can target, target serious atmospheric. And that means when we get there, I should just be able to target next system and jump and not have to open the map. Um, so good idea, Dongle. Um, apart from the fact that I don't think I have a single one. Dongle suggesting we do a, 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 like a female commander's cockpit review. Um, but I don't think I have a single cockpit from... Uh, so, so apart from that, that would be a very short video. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Roman. Roman says that he was doing material collection yesterday as well. And, um... You're absolutely right. You never know what Frontier has in store for us, so might as well just get the material grind in now, and then uh, can we do a hot drop into this? I think I can use the gravity well to slow me down enough. Yeah, there we go. No, it's not just near suit, because... It seems engineering suit is going to be all the new materials that we picked up, uh, we can pick up on foot. Um, but it's just in case anything gets nerfed, I just want to have materials. Or if I need to do a ship build, I just want to have materials. So now I should be able to go target next system and jump. So that's a lot faster not having to open the map. Yeah, release day is going to be interesting. There's going to be a lot of people on. Server's going to have a hard time staying online, I think.
never play on patch days, oh, but we have to, don't we? Have to play on patch days. I have to, at least. It's going to be interesting to do videos on, uh, on patch day. I think my plan is for one of the first things I want to do is to go in and test the performance of the uh, of Odyssey. Um, both because it's something you can do even if the servers are unstable. Because as long as you can stay in locked in for just like 60 seconds it takes to do a performance measurement, then it's fine. And hopefully overloaded servers shouldn't affect the FPS you're receiving. Um, it might affect stuff like load times, but it shouldn't affect your FPS. Yeah, exactly. If if you can get a connection, that's that's my point. Is often often the problems on patch days is every time you try to jump, every time you go to super cruise, it has a tendency to hang. But if as long as you stay in the same instance, you're usually fine. And that's why doing stuff like performance testing is ideal on the first days because you don't have to move around that much um, in order to do it. So um, fingers crossed that's going to be doable. And of course, it will also be live streaming and we're going to have a lot of crashes. And that's just the way it is. I don't think I have engine focused on uh, engine focused pinned. I think I have um, I think I have charge enhanced pinned. Um, but it, it's it's not important. Uh, it's just if people want to replicate the build, then do consider to like put a little bit of engineering into the power distributor so we can boost. Um, but it's it, it doesn't matter that much. Do I have May 19th booked at a, as a holiday? No, but if I recall correctly, um, the 20th and the 21st are both national holidays or bank holidays in Denmark, if I recall correctly. I have to check that. Uh, uh, uh. No, I was wrong. It was the 13th and the 14th that were national holidays. So no, I don't have any, uh, I don't have to take an extra vacation, but I'll get as many hours in, in, uh, in Odyssey outside work as I can. I'm just gonna get within range of that station quickly. Aha, my landing pad. And to be honest, in in fairness, often on patch days, when you have these large patches, Frontier often spends so much time testing it that it's going to be outside working hours anyway before it becomes publicly available. Um, Yeah, I think I think I would. If you really want to book a day off to uh, to play, do it the day after, because then you're absolutely then you're sure that we got over the initial um, the initial search of people completely wrecking uh, wrecking the uh, authentication servers and and all that stuff. Okay. Getting lots of exquisite focus right now. What if I embed it? And that was that four million. That's pretty nice. I don't want the refined 
focus crystal, so I am gonna take the money. And I don't care for the third mega life, I'm gonna take the money there as well. There we go. I just wanna see. How much money can you actually make from a single mission? You see, there's missions here for like four and a half million. And three, three point eight. So there are some pretty, pretty high paying missions here if you want to. Um, so you can definitely make some good money from this as well. Let's just check our material state. Still no bio extra biotech conductors. Exquisite is at 88. And what about modified embedded? Is at 70. So we're getting there. Do we have we have more modified embedded here? Oh, we're really low on, on missions now, aren't we? Like, that's not a lot of, uh, of missions. I'm just going to try a quick relock here. I know it shouldn't do anything, but... Yeah, you can get missions up to five and a half. I've seen that too. Stop of services. I see it. it is persistent as it should be. Or as, as it's intended to be. There's one here for five billion. Yeah, for modified and better firmware, we could cross trade. But this one cap in here, right? It, this gives me five. So this would be the equivalent of 15, 15 uh, materials farmed out at, uh, at Jameson's from this one cabin. So I think that's that's pretty good. Look at all those biotech conductors, but it's all out in Colonia, pretty much. But there's a lot of biotechs if we want to go out that way, but that's too far. Get thermic alloys. Don't care for thermic alloys. Nothing. Okay, so just one this time. What do we have in terms of credits then? Four and a half. We'll take a mission for four and a half. Uh, let's take V8. Three point six. We have three point three there. Let's take the three point three from up here. We have 1.9, and that's it. Again, we we have three empty cabins now. We're not able to fill up because of a lack of missions. What the, what happened with the bot there? Okay, just picked up a lot of new subscribers. It seems. Okay, that was a. Uh, that's one of the problems I have noticed is if you, if you do this for an extended period of time, it will begin to dry out for some reason. It's like the mission board doesn't fully restack re itself. We're pretty much taking most missions now. Um, but let's uh, let's do another run. Yeah, we could try to move over to House's Reach um, and just do... I know that it's a little bit slower, but with the missions to dry up, I think we'll actually do that after this run here. So I'm going to do this run, and then we're going to hand in, of course, and then we might have to head over to uh, to House's, just a single single run over there and give the mission board a little bit of a chance to restock at um, uh, at Robigo Mines, and then maybe we're more lucky with our biotechs over there on the fresh mission boards.
Yeah, I, I think, uh, Tone, I don't think it's the bot that's drunk. It's just the, the, the chat API on, on YouTube is really, really weird. Sometimes I will also get notification, um, notifications uh, on stream for, like, old, old donations on YouTube or old, old subscriptions from YouTube. Scope asking why I'm not doing the religious, but Python was not better to do an orc or a luger. Um, an Anaconda would actually be the best if you're going for a large landing pad. But as you will see here in a bit when we come back, House's Reach is very, very deep in a gravity well. Um, maybe actually if we did a hot drop in, then it might be worth it. Because we are jumping out, right? So the, the thing that takes time is the trip in. But it, maybe if we're hot dropping in, then it might actually be worth it to go with a... Um, to go to houses reach that bigger ship but as you can see here we are we are already we already we already like drying up the mission board in a python and the mission board over on houses reach is not going to be much better um than what it is here so we're going to be drying it up over there even faster and we're going to be running with half empty ships anyway um it's probably a quick jump so i don't think running with the bigger ships is necessarily a better option. Um, it may be in some situations when one mission begins to dry up, it's better to move over to the other. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think the mission board will dry out too fast. You can see here, even now, I have to begin to really pick up, like, smaller missions that's that's maybe not too um, too profitable. And I just take, you know, whatever film missions I have, because I might just as well make that extra little bit of credits. But since I'm mainly doing this for materials, I would rather have that fast travel time in and out that I get at... Um, um, at Robingo Mines compared to the deep gravity well at House's Reach. But we're gonna we're gonna head to House's Reach so we can see that gravity well in action and you can see what uh, what it's all about. The longer trip could get the board more time to refill. True. But I think the overall like overall a data consensus is that you get less payout by going to houses compared to Rubico Mines. If you're looking for just pure money making. But of course, in the situation like this, where the mission board is drying up, um, it might be a better option. And what we're going to do is, when we get back, is we're just going to quickly check the mission board at, um, at Rubico Mines. And if we have some decent missions, then I may pick them up. But other than that, we're going to head over to houses and see if we can pick something up there just for, for a single run there. Going to give the mission board more time to um, to restock and refresh. Um, and hopefully we can get a good run over there. I mean, on, the, on our first run, we got... Oh, I'm going way fast now. On the first run, we got, what, 15? I think 15... Um, um, biotech conductors. That took us from 660 to 75. And since then, we only gotten five extra. So the first run gave us 15. Then we got five on the second run. Um, and then we haven't got any biotech since, right? So the biotech apparently has a tendency to dry up. Um, so I think if we move over, if we can get another run over there at 15 and then five on the second run, then we're pretty much done with biotechs. And we get a similar thing with exquisites. Well, after this, well, we should pretty much be done with exquisites as well. Ever done a build purely for silent running? Um, I actually have the Murder Hornet. That's kind of uh, a silent running. The Murder Hornet is a uh, is a low heat Diamondback intended to uh, to snipe uh, NPCs at range. So it's supposed to be fighting NPCs at like six kilometers, like four to six kilometers. Just sit out there and then snipe them outside the range of their weapons in uh, 
in your little diamond bag. And because you can just run coal, they <laughs> well, they can't hit you. So, so it's a fun little ship. Uh, I have it on the commander's toolbox, I think. So uh, you can go and check it out there if you're interested. Oh, hello, Stargazer. Didn't see you over there on uh, on Twitch. And... Scan, and I forgot to target, so we're gonna sit here and wait. Wait for it. Mission objective complete. There it is. Why no super cruise assists? Well, nah, I because it didn't fit it. Yeah, okay, everybody's in chat. Why not use Super Cruise Assist? First of all, because I don't have it fitted. Yes, you could use the Super Cruise Assist and put, could potentially speed up the runs a lot since we wouldn't have to, uh, to spend all that time. And especially if you go into House's Reach, I think you can save a lot of time by doing the, uh, the hot drop into the station. But I don't have a Super Cruise Assist module on this, so maybe we can pick one up at House's. We'll see if they have one for sale. If they have one at houses, I'll, I'll fit one. I have a spare uh, class one slot. Um... <laughs> so why do I have a beard? Because <laughs> I look, I look a lot, a lot younger if <laughs> when I remove the beard. Maybe that wouldn't hurt, but uh, I don't. I like it. I'll show you a hot drop here when, uh, if they have one of the houses, uh, they should have. Then, um, then I'll show you a hot drop. Okay, I'll teach you guys Super Cruise Assist tricks. Or the, the trick. The trick. Are you going to stream on release day? That is the plan, yes. So that week where Odyssey releases, I will most likely... like So the, the normal live stream would be on the 18th, which is the Tuesday. And I will most likely not be streaming that Tuesday. So I, I think what I'll do is I'll remove, the, I'll remove the stream from the 18th to the 19th, which is the launch day. And then I'll be streaming there. And then I will probably be doing a lot of live streams um, in the days following it. And especially over the weekend, where I will be focusing on unlocking engineers, collecting materials, upgrading suits, upgrading weapons, those kind of things. And the first initial live stream, I think I'm not going to spend too much time like farming materials. I would rather go and like... Take a look at the garden structures. Take a look at the Thargoid bases. Take a look at stuff like, is Dad's Hope still there? Does it still work? That that kind of stuff. So that's my plan for the initial, like, launch day stream is going to be a sightseeing tour. We're going to go, we're going to take a look at all the pretty sites. Um, and then when we come closer to uh, to the weekend, then I will be focusing more on the, uh, on the, uh, the engineering, on uh, material collection, that kind of thing. No flight assist is hard to reach. Oh, sad face. How often do I live stream? I usually live stream every Tuesday um, at 7 o'clock in game time. But after Odyssey, I will be uh, 
I'll be doing a little bit more live streams, and I might also for for that week uh, be posting a few more videos. Um, but usually a live stream once a week. Um, perennial, perennial, perennial. I don't know how to pronounce it, but thanks a lot for the super chat. The main platform is by far um, videos on uh, on YouTube, and live stream is more of a community building thing where I get a bit more chance to sit down, talk to you guys, and duck. Okay, what do we get here? Modified embedded firmware. Money. More money. I'm actually making a decent amount of credits from this. Alright, let's just do a quick check to see what we actually have here. And we probably have... See, nothing there. Oh, it's a slim picking iron. We have thermic alloys here, and then we have a few modified embedded firmwares. And down here, we have modified embedded. We have some exquisite focus crystals. Oh, we actually got four biotech conductors. That's it, four biotech conductors. So we have a few missions here. But let's head over to House's Reach. Anyway. Yeah, we, we might. There's a shipyard over on um, over on houses, so we could potentially just go and buy a ship and then take it out of that. I think some of them come. Do they come with them at default now? I think they do. <laughs> um, is the 10% discord additional to the Patreon discord? No, unfortunately not. I think it only only allows one um, um, one discount code at a time. Auto dog is default. Ah, okay. Stug is uh, just got a whole ho a whole sass set up. Nice double stick. Pretty excited. Mm, first time using using sticks. Got it for ED and Star Citizen. So all commanders need to stay clear from me for <laughs> yeah, exactly. But nice. What uh, what what sticks did you get? So you're running uh, double joysticks instead of uh, throttle and stick. Yeah, I think. Uh, Thing you're right on, on Twitch saying that uh, that Rubico is approximately 100 mil an hour if you're going, um, if you're going purely for money. But obviously, I've been picking a lot of the material options, so my uh, my credit income will have been a lot lower. T 1600s, okay, cool, nice. Yeah, we might do that. Uh, I've been doing a lot of continuum mining in uh, in Star Citizen lately. It's been quite a bit of fun, making some good uh, some good credits with it. Hmm. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7. And now comes the... Like, ah, wonderful. Who's chasing me? An elite diamond back. I don't even have anything. What do you want? I have no shields. I have no weapons. I have no cargo. I have no passengers. I have nothing. What do you want from me?
He walked the dishwasher. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we need to go seven. There we go. Now, we're now on the right side of the rings. That's the question. Or is that in the rings? I can't remember. A sidewinder with super cruise assists. We'll see. We could try to buy a sidewinder if that has super cruise assist, then it will be, uh, be an easy way to get one. Please reduce your speed, Commander. When is the Odyssey release? Odyssey release is on the 19. 1 1. 1 1. one, one. Try not to scratch it. But first, we need to see if we can find ourselves a super cruise assist module. Oh, not outfitting. Oh, well, we have to go down anyway. This one, oh, sorry, the Sidewinder here comes with a Super Cruise Assist module, so we can buy that here. Oh, this is a loaner. This is a loaned module. Oh, we can actually store a loaned module. Oh well, I'll take it. And then just try this, see if this works. Yeah, exactly. It's like, I'm buying a new car because I want the spare wheel. Because it looks pretty. Yeah, so they're going to see nothing here, but... We should be able to transfer. There we go. And now we should be able to sell this thing back at pretty much almost the same price as we <laughs> This might actually be the cheapest way to get one. Now you can have your Sidewinder back. Thank you very much. Okay. So. Let's see what kind of missions we can get up here.
Ooh, they got conducted polymers. Uh, so biotechs, but it's not going. Divergent scan data. Modified embedded firmware. Hmm. Doesn't look good to start with. Refined focus crystals. This is even worse. Hold on, everything here. Oh, we got biotechs here. And more exquisite focus crystals. Oh, all of this is just... Look at that. All of this is serious atmospheric. 18 missions to serious atmospheric. So there's some biotech conductors here. We're going to focus on those. Some there. What about here? Refined. No. Okay, let's go for modified. How are we doing for modified embedded again? Seventy-five. We still need a few, so let's just pick up some more of these. <laughs> There's five modified embedded. We're gonna get those. And then we have some exquisite. And I don't really care for all these other materials that they have up here, so we're gonna go and see what kind of credit payout we can get now. Should be some good ones down here. They're all like at 1.6. Taking that. 1.4 there, 1.4 here. We have another 1.6 here. Let's take that too. 1.1, 1 .1, uh, they're all the same. There we go. Okay. Right. So. We're only 19 likes away. Okay, guys, if we get the last 19 likes, that would be amazing. We're 19 away from the goal today. That would be awesome. So if you haven't done already, and you want to help me out a little bit, go down and give the stream a like on YouTube. It really, really helped me a lot. So if you're enjoying it, please go and do that. It would uh, make me very happy. Now we need to be careful here, because we can't boost. And um, we're running illegal passengers here. So we're going to be ready on the silent running in case anything happens. Is Assassin's Street better than Robico Mines? No. We're gonna try to do a hot drop and see what happens. It's a little dangerous with legal passengers to do a hot drop in, because if we come in with the legal passengers and we hot drop and we find ourselves on the wrong spot of the station, we can find ourselves in real trouble. So we're going to do the the hot drop here in softness when we go into uh, to serious atmospheric. See if we can hot drop into that. Should be doable since it's on the light side of the planet. Yeah, so Dennis, if we are running with illegal passengers, then if we get scanned by the police running outside the station, they're not going to be too happy with us having illegal passengers on board. Okay, so we're gonna go 
Serious atmospheric first. Just gonna point us in the right direction. There we go. And let me see if I can remember this. So we're gonna engage that. Uh, if I can remember it. It's been a while here. Here we go. No, nope, it locks in. I need to get it down to... Um, I need to get it down to like five seconds. Yeah, we got a disable auto throttle. Hold on. Uh it's been a while since I've done this. Um, where is it? Flight assist, cruise boat. Hyperspace, super cruise, auto throttle, manual throttle. Here we go. And then when we hit five seconds... Are we just going to try to do a hot drop and see what happens? If we crash into the planet, it's going to be fun. <laughs> but we're going to keep, we're going to push, and we're going to push past the seven second mark. We're going to push down to five. And then we're going to engage the, oh, might have been a little late on that. I only got it at four seconds, but let's see if it, so right now it's hands off. But let's see if the, uh, if it will do it, or if I was a little late on it there. I think I might have been a little late. Boom! There we go. Yeah, I got a little bit too far out there. So we came in a little too fast, so we didn't get the drop exactly where we wanted it. It is seven if you're not running with the hot drop, but uh, we'll try the hot drop on um, on houses and see how that goes. Now we have to wait for the cooldown. There we go. Throttle back immediately. And then we're just gonna take the little bit extra. No, no, I don't, it's not because I'm afraid of the police here. It's just because I want to get here faster. But if we had gotten the timing a little bit better, then, um, then we would have made it directly there. We're gonna try it on houses. Why is it not completing? Oh, I flew past it. Great. Forgot to throttle down. Oh, we got the scan. Yeah, that's true. I can I can start charging. Um, now can I? Because I still need to have it targeted. Oh, it used to. I have to change that because I'm pretty sure it used to stop the scan when you target the system.
Because remember, I've done that in the past when I was out here. When, it, when you plotted the route back while it was scanning, it would detarget the um, um, the beacon. And then you had to target it again, and it was annoying. Okay, it might have changed. At least a couple of years ago when I was out here, then. You couldn't do that. Okay. Houses. So we're going to do the same thing here. <clears throat> okay, then they change that. That's going to speed up a little bit. But we're going to try to see how close we can drop into uh, two houses this time with the um, with the super cruise uh, super cruise assists. We are coming on the side, which is not ideal, but we'll see how close we get. Yep. We gotta see. I'm gonna probably gonna try to dethrottle at. So what I do is I have a. You can see here I have a key binding that instantly sets my my throttle back to 75%. So I'm just running full throttle. And then I'll just keep an eye on that timer. And then I've got to try at six seconds this time to get it a little bit better so we don't overshoot. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, D throttle. Oh, I didn't engage my, uh, haha, didn't engage my super cruise assist. There we go. It's going to slow us down a little bit. Let's try that again. 7, 6, D throttle. And it picked it up at 5. I think this is better. So now again, it's hands off, and we're going to let this thing fly itself. We're going to come in from the rear of the station now. That's not ideal. Yeah, this looks good. And there we are. That's a hot drop. Yeah, Mike, I know, I know Rubico is better. Well, Rubico mines, but we wanted to show up how to read because it was drying out over on Rubico. Maintain heading and slow to approach speed, Commander. Where are we going? 3-3? Three, 3-3 three. Three, three it is. Can you use the 75% throttle? Yes, you can. That just means as long as you, you can have... I mean, so I have my throttle at full throttle. And at the moment I hit 75, it jumps it down to 75. But if I move my throttle, even the slightest, it will re-engage and use the throttle's position again. So you can still use 75 as long as you then do not touch the throttle at all. Take conductors, very nice. Oh, ah, divigant scan data. I shouldn't have taken that. Never mind. And I got some divigant scan data. I guess that's okay. Okay, where are we? Modified embedded firmware is 84. Biotech is 86. Exquisite is 90. We need two exquisite focus crystals and we're done. So we're not going to pick up too many. Let's just check if we have anything. We have some good missions here. If we do not, we're going to move back to... Uh, um, we're going to move back to the, uh, to the other station. Oh, 
Oh. Oh. Oh, look at that. That I like. That I like to see. We're going to pick that one up. And I know it's better to run from the other ones, but we're just over here because I want this. Exactly. Ka-ching, jackpot. <laughs> Can we have more? We have more modified embedded here. We have four exquisite. Can we get one with fewer? Three exquisite. I might... Oh, that's not even to the right... Uh, So what is this? This is... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in a business, it seems. What about that one for three over here? Now, where was the three? That one. No. Was it only four? Yeah, we can put that in an economy cap. That's better. We gotta take that. Because now... Did I pick up the wrong mission? I don't know. They're all serious atmospheric. We're fine. So we're done with the exquisite focus crystal. So we're not interested in those anymore. Um, not interested in dividend scan data. So now we're just going to go for credits for the remainder of this year. Two and a half million. We got two and a half on this board. Which may actually be... It's actually our best choice right now. And then we're just going to take whatever we can get here. 2.3. 2. 2.4. 2.6. Uh, 1.6. Uh, was it 2.4 the other one? No. 1.4. So we rather want the 1.6 here. And then take that little mission there to fill the last little cap there. Yeah, filling for locations as well would be nice. But that was 15. So that's actually gonna come. So this run here, if we do not mess up, then we should be finished with our biotechs and we should be finished with our exquisite focus as well. And again, again, we got illegal passengers. Okay, nothing's coming in. We have no shields, so we need to be a little careful here on the way up. And again, I'm going to be ready on the silent running. We're good. Uh, informed choice. Yes, I am in a Python.
Silly question, but why we're not getting getting heat in silent running? Um, I don't have silent running active. It's just I was ready on the silent running. So if I got scanned, I was just ready to flick the switch and turn it on. But I never got the scan warning, so I never turned it on. So that's why I'm not getting uh, getting any heat. All nav beacon data, I think. Yeah. No more appliances. We're gonna try the hot drop again here on uh, on Sirius to see if we can get it a little bit better this time. Will silent running stop the scan? Yes, if they are outside. What is it? 500 meters. Do you have a color thing for the build? If you click exclamation mark build in the chat, I think it will pop up. Does heat sink still works to hex to cancel the scan? Yes, it does. It's a little bit slower than silent running since it takes some time for the heat sinks to uh, to cool you down. Um, so just doing a quick uh, a quick activation of your silent running is still faster. Once again, we're going to point us in the right direction when we hit the six second. Then I'm going to try to engage it this time, see if this is better here. Seven, six, and engage it. And it picked it up at six seconds. Let's see if this is better. Oh, it actually threw us way back to seven this time. So that's... Try to pick it up at five instead. See if we can get that aggressive right slope. We got it aggressive, that's for sure. We might be going too close again. Are oh, going too fast in this time again to get an accurate drop. Let's see. Seems a little slower this time, maybe. Oh, there we go. Two kilometers. We got it this time. And we are out of here. That has to cool down. Ah, very nice. So we should be done. Assuming I don't mess up, we should be done with our exquisites and our biotechs. Nice. I like that. Ready to engage. Four, no fuel scoop? No. There's no reason. We're going back and forth to a station all the time, and I have enough fuel to make it back to the station. So, there's no reason why I should fit a fuel scoop to, um, um, to take up space for more passenger cabins. Okay, we're gonna go and find House's Reach. And no shields, exactly. Shields also just takes up space for passengers. Okay, gotta keep an eye on my approach speed here. Once again, we're gonna hit for uh, for six seconds. <laughs> then he's counting down the missing likes for uh, for three fifty for the light goal. Three likes away. Should be able to reach that before I reach the station. I'll race you guys. Let's 
20 seconds. Hey, okay, we gotta set it up as soon as we get to the station. Hold on, we get this right here. Six seconds and engage. There we go. Picked it up at six seconds. Minus four. Okay. <laughs> What happens in six seconds? At six seconds, I engage the uh, the super cruise assist, and oh, it's it's nerve wracking every time. Joint. Oh, hello, Rock. That was an asteroid. Oh, we spawned twenty kilometers out. Ah, oh, it spawned us inside the ring. <laughs> I am just gonna get this thing in the station, then I will set up. Uh... Yeah, okay. I think we already have the uh, we have the discount code in the, in chat. I, I think uh, Matthew got it uh, first try. I think it, it's gonna be hot drop, isn't it? <laughs> That's the discount code today. Is that it? Seventy five percent throttle at six seconds. Yes, if you have the super cruise assist enabled, then it will auto drop you in. I think we're going to use hot drop. I think that's a good uh, good code today. Um, a little nerve wracking that we're coming in so far out because it gives them more chances to uh, to scan us. But uh, we're going to request docking early, as is common practice when you do silent running and smuggling. So you have less thing to think about when you're getting close. And we also a little. A little hampered by the fact that uh, that this ship doesn't boost and is very slow. Feel like we might get scanned here in a second. Oh, don't scan me close to the to the grill here. I hate that. Hate those last second scans. Okay, we're in. We're in. We're safe. Whoosh. Nice. It's always a little, little nerve-wracking, especially when it's like this many materials on the line. And we are on the path. Let's just hand this in, and then let's give you guys a uh, a discount code. Actually, let's, let's make a discount code first. I'm just gonna fight my dashboard here. Give me a second. If it would load. Come on. There we go. Wow, that was slow today. And logging in. Jesus, the servers are slow. <laughs> this takes. Okay, gotta hand in some missions while I wait for this thing to log in. Gonna go and hand in those biotech conductors. And more biotech conductors. Oh no, insufficient capacity! Really? And we... Hold on, there's no material trader here, are there? No! So we can't... We have to hit it spot on to... Uh, I think... Could we just have thrown away the remainder? Now I have to cross trade for the last bit. That's annoying. Okay. It's locked in. Nice. See if I can get into the actual part of the dashboard where I can set up the discount codes here. Okay, that's taken forever as well. Wonderful. So, I guess I'll have to cross-trade those few extra materials. And that probably means I can't do the... Um 
I can't do the exquisite focus crystals either. But I might actually take the conductive polymers here because they are also a little rare. See, I can't do the exquisite focus crystals either. Because I do not have the room for them. Hey, I got to the next page on the dashboard. Go into discounts. Add a new discount. Stream discount for 10% off any order. Oh, that's a discount code. Hold on. That's going to be hot drop. All caps, one word. And that's 10% off. And this code is going to be... Whoops, come on. This is going to be valid until the end of the live stream. That means when the live stream is over, I'm going to take the code down. So, let's go to discounts here. Here we go. So I'm going to post it in chat here. Hot drop. If you use the code hot drop and go to d2astore.com, you're going to get 10% off any order. And again, that code is going to be valid until the end of the live stream. And then I can just hand in the last mission. There we go. Okay, so that means for the last, like... Four biotech conductors and... The last few, uh... Exquisite focus... Two exquisite focus crystals. Did not validate yet on checkout. Mm-hmm. It is active on my screen. Let me just refresh. No, it is active. Let me check it out. Store.com. I'm going to... Let me get myself a North Star mug here. Just take that. And I want it in black. Add to cart. Go to cart. Check out. Discount code hot drop. Apply. No, oh, works for me. Works for me. I think it should be fine. It may be that we should be on the same servers. We're so close. Like, geographically. Okay. So that means next step would be to go and fill up on some of the other materials. Um, I would probably go and look into running some, um, uh, some high grades and then just cross trading. So probably what I would do is I would... Like, get rid of my proto radiolic ally proto heat radiators because I get those a lot in boom systems. Same, get rid of all my imperial shielding and cross trade those over to other other materials. Um, and then begin stocking up on those that's easy to get and then cross trade those across. Um, if I can stack up on those three different materials at once, um, so those two, so then I can have what's that 17 per material, so that's 17, 17 times times three. That is, what, 51. So I can fill up half half of one other material per run then. Um, and again, we're not going to do sensor fragments. We don't care about those. Um, but, yeah. And then there's just data. Mainly it's the, the main thing with data that I'm missing. Um, is data mind wake exceptions. I'm really low on those. So I would really like to get a lot more of those. So I'm just going to go and run some... Um, some Jameson's crash site. But that might be either something I'm going to do off camera at some point. Or maybe it's something I'm going to do. Um, do another future live stream. But for now I think I'm going to head over to the carrier. So we can go back again. Or actually should I just store the ship out here? Nah I'm going to store it in the carrier. Why am I filling up on all the materials? Because I want to make sure I have materials for making ships when Odyssey comes out. In case we need that, and I don't want to have to use any of them for anything in Odyssey and then have to go and farm materials. Look at that constellation there at the front, by the way. It looks great. Um, I don't want to have to go and stock up on materials in, uh, in Odyssey if I can do it beforehand. So it's just because 
I've been low on materials for a while, and we don't know if Frontier has some uh, some changes to uh, some of the current material farming methods. Um, if they have, I just want to have as much as I can. You have to enter it lowercase. Okay, usually it's always lowercase, but try it lowercase if it doesn't work. Do you think we'll get new ships? Um, not at launch, no. Maybe new SRVs, I think, is more likely. Yeah, at least I, I have finished my raw materials. You go and take a look at this here. Filters. We want all grades. Stop that. Our uh, elements. You can see here my raw materials. Done. All done. Filled up completely. To the brim. If someone was just getting into Elite Dangerous after four years of absence, would doing trading or exploration be a good first start? That depends what you want from Elite. If you're getting, if you're played already, it depends how far you are in the game already. Um, but do what you feel like, what, what feels like most interesting to you. If you want to go explore, do that. If you want to do trade, go do that. Why does my carrier look so cool? It's a Fortune class carrier with a custom paint job on. It's, a, it's an extra paint job on it, so it's green. Very pretty carrier. Ooh, and we're on the path. See? Python looks even cooler, I think. Little, like, shark fin there on the back and the gold wireframe paint job. I love that paint job. And there's the North Star. Very cool carrier. Um, not today, Dongles. I have some uh, some work I need to do today, so... Yeah, this is the North Star, and I'm just going to, while we are here, gonna send it back home. Oh, do we even have enough fuel on board? I hope I have enough. I should have enough fuel on board. Uh-uh-uh. LP. Do we have room around Martin Gateway? We do. That's all the carriers around Martin Gateway. <laughs> there we go. Someone else will build. Now I have I have trid on board, so it's not it's not critical. Um, you can see here, somewhere in here. There we go. I have five five thousand tritium on board. You just need to transfer more over to the fuel tank. Um, so there's there's trid on board, so I could definitely get home. I just didn't want to swap over to uh, do a quick refuel actually before we uh, we shut down. Uh, 
shipyard. Let's get a... Where is my... Oh, there is trade cutter. Have I collected all my materials yet? Not yet. I'm done with raw and I'm working on manufactured. And uh, I also need to do my encoded as well. So now we can go here. We can go find our tritium. And then we are going to be patient as we transfer it over to the ship. How much do you think we should have? Have of what? Sorry. Missed the start of that. Yeah, so the, the only reason there's so many carriers in LP is because it's uh, it's the Terrax. Uh, Terrax is our in-game faction. So we have an in-game player faction that you can uh, you can join, you can help. And um, we play it as a very open faction where you can come, you can join if you want to run some missions. Um, and... Yeah, so the idea is we have a faction. So you can see just as we have, you can't see in this system because there's no faction here. It's an anarchy. This is a non-populated system. But basically, we have a faction in games called Terra X Astro Corp. And it's an NPC faction like any other faction. But it's a called a player faction because it is added in game based on a uh, on a player group's request. That would be us. We've requested to have this faction added. And what we do is we then try to further that faction influence, we try to take over stations, take over systems, and expand our territory around uh, our area. And this is done through our Discord server, where we have faction planners. Um, we have our lovely, lovely Pastrol over there, who does um, all the uh, um, daily orders. And that means you can come over, and then every day there will be posted a number of like tasks to do. And... You don't have to complete them every day. If you feel like, no, today I don't want to play lead, or I want to go and do something else, you do that. That's fine. This And it's not like we said, you have to do this many missions a week or something. You can come by, you can run some missions. And if you're interested in the BGS, or background simulation, you can definitely learn a lot about it. So basically look at it as a way to get daily missions. So if you just want to help out the faction or have somebody to fly with, then you can go over there and there will be daily missions. You can find it on Discord at discord.d2a.com and then you will be welcomed by the welcome bot and it will send you a message that will also detail how you get uh, get signed up and all that stuff. And you can also sign up in-game and that kind of stuff. So you can um, um, can get you going with that. So it's it's pretty fun sometimes, you know, when you're just like, I don't know what to do in the league today. Just go in, read the daily orders and then say, okay, so today I'm going to go to this system and run, gonna run these missions or I'm going to go and find that conflict zone or I'm going to go and collect card talk data and sell it here. I'm going to do some trading here or like the, it changes every day. And again, if you just want to do it, like hats off, not think about it, just run the missions. You can do that. But if you're interested in understanding why the missions or why the orders look as they are and how you go through the process of moving a faction from one station to another and taking over a new system, then plenty of knowledgeable people who will, uh, will be, I think, more than happy to, uh, to answer all your questions. So it's, uh, I think it's a, it's a nice addition and uh, I know a lot of people really enjoy it, myself included. But we're in the process of refueling a carrier. There we go. That should be um, that should be fine for a while. Okay. We need to go through the whole. Where's my bunny bus? There's the bunny bus. Oh, not diamond snake. Bunny bus. Okay. So. I am going to slowly be, uh, be shutting down the stream, but I have a few things I need to do beforehand. First of all, I need to find a stream we can uh, we can raid. So I'm just going to quickly go and find someone that could be fun to raid over on uh, on Twitch. If you want to, by the way, if you're watching on YouTube and you want to want to help raid over on Twitch, then you can uh, can come over to the Twitch side of the stream, and then we're gonna send you on to uh, to someone over there. And I'm just going to see if I can find someone. Oh, I'm streaming. Who is streaming today? Do we have... I think it would be fun to find like a smaller... You know what? I have I have a stream here. We have a guy here. He's 
16 viewers right now and he's also collecting material so if you want to see more material collection then we're going to send you there that should be very fitting but before we send you there i think i have the uh yeah i have it in uh the clip holder now i just want to say thank you um for, for watching today i hope you enjoyed it and remember that the stream code or the discount code for the, the merch store that is hot drop i'm going to um I'm going to be keeping the code up for like 10, 15 minutes after the live stream. So if you want to go and check out the merch store and get yourself something, you have a little bit of time here after the stream to go and uh, and check it out. In the chat, you'll find a lot of good links right now. You'll find links for the all the social channels if you want to follow me on other platforms. Also, you can find uh, links for Streamlabs for donations at tip.d2a.com or Patreon for a monthly contribution at patreon.d2a.com. If you want to join the channel's community, of course, it's on Discord, and that is at discord.d2a.com. And then finally, of course, the merch store was d2astore.com. So, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to go and initiate the raid over on Twitch, and then I'll see you guys in space.